Hey, hey, rock stars, Vanessa Simpkins here. Type yes below if you guys can all hear me and see me. Today we're gonna to talk about how to manage the pressure of growth as a woman entrepreneur, business owner, coach, consultant, online marketer, without adding more pressure onto yourself. And the main thing that we're gonna focus on is this idea of disapproving of yourself, beating yourself up, this, e this thing that happens with the ego when you go to up level and learn new skills, maybe it's copywriting, hiring people for your team, learning paid advertising, getting into your comfort zone and being really visible, making videos, setting up funnels. Um, this directly relates to your capacity for more abundance. So it's really, really important. And before we get started, guys, I made a book a best-selling book called Take Your Power Back Now, How to Overcome Your Resistance to Creating a Life That You Love. You can get it uh, today uh, at the link here just ab above the video. And the book is specifically about my process, how I overcame my own internal resistance. It's sneaky. Um, anyways, you can check out my book. You can pick it up, get the ebook version today if you click that link. So, when it comes to managing pressure, right? Um, because we're, you're growing, you're learning new skills as an entrepreneur, you're always going to be evolving and learning how to do new things. And we all, we all know that you know, to evolve and to, to do new things requires pressure, right? There's a saying, no pressure, no diamonds. But a huge thing that, a huge question or a common fear that I keep seeing uh, amongst women and again, I've been doing this now for 10 years Take your power back now as a woman's empowerment company. We focus on helping Spiritual women really overcome fear and thrive and and the big fear that I see a lot of women face is Well, how do I manage all of this business growth with the competing demands that I have from my kids my family life? Um, you know, I don't want my business to like overtake everything or there's a fear there that you know when they were successful in the past this bad thing is going to happen again and uh it's kind of like this fear of success right and and it's 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 real like this is a, a real thing and i get it um but you don't what you don't need is more added pressure on top of this new up leveling that you're that you're going through and this is about specifically the disapproving, the beating up, you know, the beating yourself up because you're not there yet. This is what we call like the ego, right? It tries to protect you using fear of failure. It can show up as in, you know, how come that person has it and I don't? What's wrong with me? How come I'm still not doing the sales the way I should be? Well, how come my ad's still not working? And it's like this added pressure on yourself. And that's what I want to address today because it's, it's unnecessary. And there's a way for you to completely sidestep it. And that's what I want to address with you guys here today. Because the best thing that you can do for yourself while you're in these growth phases is to not create more pressure or more disturbance or controversy. And the way that you stop doing that is by working with the laws. All right. So here at Take Your Power Back Now, whether you join you know, our 10K and 30 day online uh, mastermind, it's an eight week boot camp, or our uh, year-long elite bikini business coach program, we really focus on abundance principles, the laws of creation. And the law states your concept of self, your concept of yourself, is what actually brings the opportunities, the clients, the money. Uh, so by working with the laws, <clears throat> what you really want to do is create a concept of yourself first. So let's say you're, you're, you're in this coaching thing, you've done a certification program, and now it's time for you to start marketing and selling yourself, all right? So that requires you to be visible, making videos, making offers, not, not safe, you know. Now we're looking at all of your previous beliefs around worthiness, deservingness, salespeople, all of that has to be reorganized if you're going to be successful. Otherwise, your, your old, old beliefs about yourself as a business owner person is what starts to express. So I'm gonna share with you guys an interesting uh, case study that I did yesterday with a graduate. But before I do that, 
make sure if you really want to get into you know how to identify resistance and move through it you can pick up a copy of my book take your power back now uh, the link is here above the video uh, the link is vanessabook.com vanessabook.com is where you can pick it up today um, you can get the ebook version or uh, you can pick up the physical version on Amazon as well. So uh, yesterday I did an interview with a, a recent graduate of our 10K in 30 day uh, mastermind and she had outstanding results. Like I'm so curious. She generated $17,000 in sales in her first 30 days. Totally outstanding. She uh, was a psychic and uh, had done a lot of courses before joining ours. She was disappointed with the results. And I asked her like, so what was the big difference? You know, what, what really, you know, allowed you to thrive? What, what was it? What was it about the program? Like, I'm generally curious. And she said, you know, the mindset piece that we worked on, my worthiness and deservingness, my beliefs about myself. She said, even my husband noticed that I'm showing up differently, <clears throat> you know, at home in our relationship. And um, again, creating these concepts of self, you know, so that's the name of the game. The name of the game is to, let's say, let's give you an example. And let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I love to talk about mindset. This is really where the rubber hits the road. You know, a new concept, let's say you're working on sales, for example, and you're not having successful sales conversations. Well, make a new concept of yourself. I'm really, really good at this enrolling thing. Or, you know, if you're working on marketing yourself and you're overwhelmed with online technology, I'm really, really good at this marketing and sales thing. I'm, I mean, I'm a badass social media marketer or, you know, it's okay for me to learn as I grow. If you want to create a belief about yourself and create some space for yourself to actually make some mistakes along the way to getting it right. Um, if you are, let's say, and I've done this throughout my entire career, every different portion or piece um, is to really stop and, and take account of what I'm creating. It requires radical responsibility, right? The, working with the laws, whatever your subconscious mind accept, it, it must express. And then creating a new concept of myself, who would I have to be if I wanted to get that? And, and taking enough time to install, install on a regular basis. Hey, what's up, Shauna? Welcome, guys, if you're joining us live. Let me know if you're tuning in for the replay. If you have any questions about this, this is a really important topic. And we covered it yesterday on our live Q&A with the Bikini Business Coach Program. You know, these are women who are, you know, wow, they're making sales and they're now, you know, building out more automation. They're building out more ads. They're doing, you know, video sales funnels. They are hiring people to help them in their business. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, I've never managed anyone before. How do I even hire somebody? Like, what do I do? What's the first thing? How do I make sure I hire the right person? So who do you have to be? in order to get your goal is a great question. Who do you have to be in order to get your goal? And then instead of just blindly rushing and, and pressurizing yourself, stop and create a new concept, a new belief about yourself. I'm really, really good at this marketing and sales thing. You know, it's safe for me to be visible and make offers every day. I'm enrolling everybody I speak to on the phone. I'm irresistible to my ideal client, right? Um, this kind, this, this is how you remove the added pressure of beating yourself up, disapproving of yourself as you're in this process of learning. And while this new concept of yourself becomes cemented in your subconscious mind, this is a law, I didn't make it up, you know, your subconscious beliefs must express themselves. That state, when you move, when you move into action in your business from that internal state, you're gonna show up in a much different way. You're gonna show up with a lot less pressure on yourself. And the other thing we covered yesterday, you know, I get a lot of questions. I'm, I'm really an open book for my clients. I show up on these live Q and A's. Uh, they go for about two hours every week. Every week my, my clients get to actually talk to me. And they ask me, you know, sometimes really personal questions like how do you, you know, yesterday we talked about this. How do you manage, you know, all of the pressure? And you know, what I tell them is, I could be in this like fake conversation with myself and somebody as I'm working through some you know issue, or I could move back into the state of I already am this now. 
I already have this now. I already am this now. And then all of the internal pressure goes away. You can feel it in your body. And, and then how I show up to deal with that problem is, you know, it's never the way I think it's going to be. It's never as tumultuous. It, that's, just an, that's just me creating more controversy over here instead of moving into the state of I already am this, I already have this, and allowing that state of being to enter into action. Very kind of fine distinction here. So again, by the way, guys, if you really want to deep dive, if you if you're if you're noticing that you know there's you're you're trying to grow and there's something fishy going on, you don't really know what that is. Maybe you're making goals and you have the best intentions, but something blows up in your face, and you you you're you're into this radical responsibility, you know what did I call it? the I'm a conscious creator process. You, you realize that there is a better way to do things. Pick up a copy of my book. You will love it. I get emails all the time from women who say, even on some, some of the women on our ads comment, you know, I read this thing in four hours. It's thank you for writing this book. Um, pick up a copy and you'll learn about how to overcome the resistance to creating the life and business that you want. You have to become a conscious creator. You have to become aware of your states of being. And um, I cover some great techniques in the book. So to wrap it up, we, you, we all know that learning new skills, you know, up-leveling, learning sales, copywriting, marketing, uh, hiring people, it's going to create pressure. That's just the normal part of growth. But we also know that you don't have to put any more added pressure, right? And the way to do that is by creating new concepts of yourself. The question to ask yourself is, who do I have to be in order to get my goal? Taking a moment and creating a new concept, install, install. How do you impregnate the subconscious mind with repetition, feeling, and visualization? Tomorrow I'm gonna cover, uh, whoop, got a phone call there. Tomorrow I'm gonna cover um, a little bit more about this, if you guys want, let me know, drop a comment. And um, I get a lot of questions about visualization and, and how, what, what's your exact process. So let me know if that interests you. And again, um, thank you for tuning in, guys. Hey, what's up? Trish is in the house. Um, thank you guys for tuning in live. I love, 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 love empowering women to overcome fear and thrive. It's an inner game before it's an outer game. You guys can all do this. The good thing is there are laws and we can work with the laws and create new concepts of yourself to really do anything, you know, whether it's up leveling your uh, finance, finances, whether it's hiring people, whether it's becoming uh, more compassionate, all possible when you work with your concepts of self. All right, guys, I'm Vanessa Simpkins. Thank you for tuning in. Drop me a question or a comment if you have any, and I'll see you guys real soon.